You can hand launch it too. Yep. Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, today it's another drone day, and today I have the Eashin E511S drone. Look at it. It's uh, kind of familiar. I'm sure you've seen something like this before from DJI. <laughs> I'm serious. Watch this when I open it. It's foldable and it gets pretty darn large. Now you're probably wondering, this drone here looks, like I say, like a DJI drone. I'm just gonna get back so the Osmo can get it in a little bit more. Uh, it is GPS. It does have a 16 minute flight time. The battery is removable. It has a camera that's 1080p that goes up and down and uh, it has orbit mode, has return to home, follow me and waypoints. It's pretty sweet. Now you can get this on the Banggood website and I'm gonna put a link below to where you can actually find this drone. But I wanna tell you this before you go click on the link. If you click on the link and you see this massive price and it freaks you out, that's probably because it's selecting this drone plus three batteries plus 1080p plus 5G Wi-Fi, all the stuff. So you could actually reduce the price by selecting just one battery and uh, if you want 720p it's even less you know you can there's all sorts of things you can do on the website so click on all the buttons and get the price you want if you're really looking at getting this drone now i've flown this drone indoors never flew it outdoors uh, but it should be pretty good here i'm going to put it on my car and put the osmo close up to it so we can get a better look at it here's the drone all unfolded on the bottom here is where you put a micro sd to record your video from the camera right to there it's got little lights in the front it feels like a really good drone and these little legs flip out you have them all over here so that it's all ready to go so now it's pretty darn cold out here and the battery's pretty cold because i still have it in the back so uh it's got a little power button and how much power is left so i gotta take it for a flight and uh, i'm going to show you an unboxing too where you can see what comes in the box and now a quick unboxing of the eashin e511s foldable drone if you want to know just in case i haven't shown you in the video what the features are of this drone here they are right here there we go we got gps one key return headless mode altitude hold hd camera and speed control inside the box you get the instruction manual very important next you have the drone itself we'll take a quick look at that it's got a lot of weight and look at the size of it it's quite large the first thing i notice is the top has a rubbery feel that's pretty sweet it's not smooth plastic it's like a rubber up here look at the size of this thing that almost well <laughs> Let me get a Mavic Air. I think this thing might actually be bigger. One second. So here we go. There's a Mavic Air. This is a DJI Mavic Air. And here's this drone by Eashin. And uh, let's see, let's put them together side by side. It is larger. So this Eashin drone is larger than the actual Mavic Air. If I put them like this, you'll see it. Put the little noses together. There, you see the, see the end here? It's still carrying on. And there's the Mavic Air back here. This thing is massive. Look at the arms, they're way out here. Oh well, that's pretty sweet. See the camera's right here, and that is a 1080p camera, and it is electronic. Electronic in that it moves up and down, and you control it uh, where you want it to go. It's not electronic stabilization. Down here you have the micro SD D slot so you can uh, record right from the camera right on to the micro SD on the bottom you have a huge hole right here maybe they wanted to put in a positioning sensor but there's nothing in there nothing in that spot that's your little antenna here to send you the video signal these are not brushless motors these are brush motors using a technology that came out closer to the end of 2018 they call it core technology and there's the battery right there you can see it's a 7.4 volt which is a two cell at 1200 milliamps you get about 15 minutes of flight time let's see what else comes in the box we have a second battery down here and then over here we have the controller this is a very common controller used on most drones uh, the buttons on this one are not labeled so you have the power button on off you'll have to put batteries in the back you can pull this out to hook up your cell phone put your cell phone in there also in the box you get four prop cards nice big ones spare set of props usb battery charger and a small phillips screwdriver all right we have the battery in the drone and we're going to put it on the scale and with the battery and the drone it comes up to 292 grams all right i put my little osmo away and uh, we'll take this out and go do some flying out in the field out here This is a GPS drone, but you can fly it indoors. It's pretty easy, you just power it on. Power on your controller. Mine's all marked up with all sorts of little graphics on it. Connect it, pull these both to the right. And there you go. Let it initialize for a second or two, just so it knows that it's level and all balanced. And uh, then you just pull these little joysticks out. And you can have an up button. It's a GPS drone made for outdoors, so it needs a GPS signal to fly straight. But look, it's doing okay. I'm not really touching it. It's sitting there by itself. 
I'm not doing anything. So you could fly this around your house. I would give this for flying indoors since it doesn't have any sensors on the bottom, but it is a GPS drone. I'd have to give it a seven out of 10 for ability to fly it indoors. And it is quite large. Look at this thing, if I break it down. It is a pretty large drone. And I believe it comes with prop guards, so put the prop guards on for flying indoors. And to land the drone, hit the down button, and it will come down and land nicely. Here we go, here's the field. It's just a field of white. So this camera probably will have a little bit of difficulty with white snow because white snow causes the exposure to turn down. So we'll see how it is. This is these drones here are better for in the summertime when you have green and blue and all those beautiful colors. In the wintertime where everything's white, eh, not the greatest. All right, let's start this drone up, power on, get the lights going, put on my little controller. Next thing we have to do is the compass calibration really quick. It's a little three turns. One. There we go. We're done. All right. The camera on here moves, goes up and down. So this is your up. See, I'm moving the camera up. All right. Motor start. Hit the upbeat button. Go up. Take it up higher. There we go. And uh, let's see. Let's take a close look at it. It's all good. There it is up in the air. Here's the video. How does that look? See, everything's white, so I don't know how the video is going to look here. Uh, I don't know how much battery power is in this thing. Let me just take it up. I'm going to show you some height. Take it up. There it is up there. Okay, it's in follow me right now. So there it is. Let's see. It goes to a certain thing. I'm going to go this way. Is it going to come? Hello? Follow me? Yeah, I'm over here. It's still trying to figure out where I am because it's got to find my phone. Looks pretty cool with the, uh, the little eyeballs flashing over there. It's gotta be up higher, I think, for follow me. Let me just put it up higher. There we go. See, I'm far this way. I think in the settings, you set it where you want it for follow me mode. Here, I'm gonna run this way. Does it, is it gonna follow me this way? Yeah, there it goes, it's coming. Come and follow me. I like that the, the front lights blink because then it uh, Actually, lets me know where it is. Okay, let's get out of that. I'm gonna try the return to home, see what that does. It says if you press it, there you go. So I had to go return to home, low battery. Where are you going? So it did come back to home. Do I have to bring it down? Oh no, I hear it coming down now. So it come all the way down? No, I think it just comes back to home and sits, uh, comes down to about that height. No, it's still coming. I'm not doing anything. It takes a while to think about it. And it always does that. Two, two drops and then it goes down. And there we go. That's pretty good because it took off right there. Let me try the speeds on here. So this is the default speed. Not bad. Let's bring it back. It's another one on here. It's called uh, this one, speed. That's faster. Oh, much better. All right. Oh, three. There's three speeds. Let's go. Let's go the full full speed. There we go. This is like full speed. I'm gonna get it going around. I'll try not to crash it. There, coming close. That goes pretty fast. Here, I'll get it over my head. That's much better. These drones, I don't know how many times I say it, but they are not designed to fly out in the cold. My fingers are frozen. Oh, what do I touch something on my screen here? My fingers are frozen. This thing, the battery's frozen, the barometer in there, everything's gotta be frozen, but yet they still fly, so it's pretty good. So I hit a button called surround. What's it gonna do? It's gonna go and stare it over there. I have no idea. Is it? Oh, it's coming back now. It's trying to figure out. It should go around me. It's just a one button here to go surround. It knows. Oh, I have to. It's one of these ones you have to hit the joystick to get it to go in a, a direction, I think. There you go. So now it's surrounding me. I'm not doing anything. There's my little controller. So I think as I was saying is when you hit this little button back here called surround, you know, I have to label them because they're not labeled. Uh, it goes up. It finds your phone. And then it turns around and faces you, and then it just surrounds you. Uh, but you have to control the direction that you want it to go and the speed to let it go. And then you go and do your thing. This drone flies really nice. Like it's very stable, like with the GPS, very stable. I'm very impressed with this one. Very stable for, for a dro drone of this quality. Now, if you're like me, you'll drop your phone all over the place like I keep doing. So I'm amazed this drone keeps on flying because I don't know how, how many buttons I've hit on here that I shouldn't hit on my phone. There you go, just exit it. Once again, I've exited the program, trying to push it. Now I've got Bigsby going and it's trying to answer questions. Oh, look at that, it's telling me the weather. Great. Okay, I've got a little bit of power left. 
Let's bring it this way. Oh no, don't go low. It's going low battery. I'm gonna take it away up. When you hear those beeps, no matter what I do, I can't get it to fly anywhere. It basically wants to come home. So I wonder if you can, at the same time, catch it when it's coming down. Yeah. All right, I hope you enjoyed my review of this here Eosheen Drone ESL. Let me put the controller down. It's just gonna beep all day long. Once again, I hope you enjoyed the review of this here Eosheen Drone. It does look like a Mavic Air. And as you saw from the unboxing, it is larger than a Mavic Air, but it's pretty cool. So I have the version with two batteries and out here in the cold, normally you're supposed to get 16 minutes of flight time. Out in the cold, it's pretty darn cold here. I might've got, uh, if I calculated it correctly, I got about maybe 13 minutes of flight time and then the beeping starts, but you can still fly after the beeping. If it was a warm summer's day, yeah, I'd probably get easily get 16 minutes of flight time. But all in all, it's pretty good. And it does have a range of, uh, I believe the range is 300 meters. So that's pretty decent for flying around. So the links are below, check it out. Make sure you click on the website and uh, pick the drone with either two batteries, one battery or three batteries. Each time you click something like that, the price goes up or down. All right, take care. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.